This is Hina, the voice behind Dr. Teeth. Why smash your head in your textbook when we are here to make dentistry easy for you? So before we proceed to the video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. And also, if you found the video helpful, don't forget to like and comment as it motivates us to create more videos of this kind. For more amazing content, don't forget to visit our website where we have MCQs, courses and much more. So let's begin. Hello everyone, Assalamu alaikum. I hope that you are happy and fine wherever you are. Today we are going to start with the zinc oxide eugenol impression paste. Okay, now zinc oxide eugenol, it is classified as a rigid impression material, rigid or say inelastic impression material and these set by chemical reaction. They are classified into two types. We have hard which is ADA type 1 and soft which is ADA type 2. Okay, so the hard type of material, they will get hard when they set and also brittle when they set resembling the impression plaster you know it resembles to the impression plaster you might have read about or seen and the soft one they have a greater tendency to flow increased tendency to flow during the removal of the impression so no matter what you are using it depends on you means the operator depending on your preference you can use either hard or soft and also the situation okay now coming to supply so these are available in two paste we have a base paste and we have a catalyst paste okay we have a catalyst paste so let me just quickly draw two tubes here so let us suppose this is our base paste and this is our catalyst paste now the base paste is always lighter in color and the catalyst paste it is usually brown in color okay the base paste consists of zinc oxide eugenol and the catalyst paste it contains the accelerators we'll see the composition in a while and the smell that we get from you know this zinc oxide eugenol that is from the catalyst paste so it is responsible for smell because it has eugenol okay so the eugenol here it gives it that smell okay now why are we using two colors why is it white and why is it brown so this gives the advantage that when we mix them together we can have an idea if the mix is proper you know there should be no streaks of any color visible when it is properly mixed so this was about the colors of the tube now let us proceed to the composition now in composition first of all let us see what is there in the base paste or the white tube okay so we have as already told we have zinc oxide and that is 87 percent and we have vegetable oil mineral oil that is 13 percent okay coming to the catalyst paste it has eugenol which gives that peculiar smell right so it is 12 percent the maximum quantity is gum rosin 50 percent we have chemical accelerators which is 5 percent then fillers 20 percent lanolin 3 percent resinous balsam or peru balsam 10 percent now let us see the function of each of these in brief okay now this eugenol or say clove oil that is an ingredient that takes part in the setting reaction the gum rosin it enhances the mixing and the flow characteristics it gives this gum rosin gives coherency to the material and also it makes it thermoplastic so that after pouring the cast when we put it in hot water this impression material it gets softened and can be removed easily so let me just quickly jot it down here in a different color okay so eugenol is an active ingredient right gum rosin it gives coherency and also makes it thermoplastic accelerator as the name suggests it will accelerate the reaction so here we can also use magnesium chloride zinc acetate as a accelerator 
increases the reaction then we have fillers in which we add silica silica is added and it gives the catalyst a paste like consistency and since it is a filler it also increases the strength coming to lanolin it acts as a plasticizer then resinous balsam or peru balsam it increases the flow and it also act as a plasticizer okay so now we know the composition of the zinc oxide eugenol let us proceed with the chemistry now what happens is when you mix the two paste okay the reaction will start between zinc oxide and eugenol and zinc oxide in the presence of moisture it will react with the eugenol okay and it will form eugenolate eugenolate okay so let us suppose this is our entire assembly of the paste right so we have a paste here this eugenol that is formed it will act as a matrix that will hold the unreacted zinc oxide in it okay the eugenol is a weak acid so acid okay plus the base it will form a chelate why is it a chelate compound what is a chelate it means the attachment of a molecule to a metal at more than one point let us suppose this is a metal okay and let us suppose these are other metals okay so this metal is attached by other metals at more than one place okay so this resembles like a crab claws have you seen a crab the claws or the you know legs of the crab okay so that is a chelate that refers to a chelate so we can imagine this structure as a central zinc atom which is held by two eugenol claws that is why it is called as chelate compound okay now as we can see here this reaction requires an ionic medium to proceed now what is the role of water in the setting reaction so the setting reaction as we know it is ionic in nature okay and it requires an ionic medium so water increases this ionic nature so the acid will react with the base okay and it will form a salt which is zinc eugenolate now here we can see the crab's claw here we can see that two coordinate bonds are formed how by donation of a pair of electron from the methoxy oxygen okay to zinc so since we are seeing it in 2d it appears as if they are in a flat plane right but actually if i draw the x and the y axis one aromatic ring will be here and one aromatic ring will be in this plane so they are actually at right angles to each other perpendicular to each other that is why we call it a chelate compound coming to uses of it we can use it obviously for secondary impression the wash impression let me know why do we call it a wash impression and then also as a bite registration paste though i personally don't like using it as a bite registration paste because it gets really messy and then also cementing and insulating medium okay and also as a temporary filling material so these are the uses of it and we should remember it this is also used as a periodontal dressing and also for temporary relining material for the denture coming to the manipulation and then disinfection okay the zinc oxide eugenol impression paste it is mixed on a glass slab okay glass slab or special plastic paper pads because if we mix it in ordinary paper pad they will absorb the oil okay we have learned in the composition that there are various kinds of oil present vegetable oil okay and all so it has the tendency to absorb it if we use it here so we have to use a glass slab or any special paper pads which have coatings which prevent the absorption of oil so let me just quickly draw a glass slab here okay so we will take equal quantity of the catalyst paste i'm using a gray color for the base paste it's white in color okay 
because we have to show it on a white background i'm using a gray one right so we take equal length of the catalyst paste and the base paste okay then you take your spatula okay and you pick up the catalyst paste and you take this here and mix it with the base paste okay in future i will be showing a demonstration on this but for now for theoretical purpose let's just learn this how we do it and we have to mix it okay we have to mix it in sweeping motion so that we get a homogeneous mixture so when it is completely mixed we get a uniform mixture having a uniform color no streaks of any color visible right this also becomes orange <laughs> this also becomes orange okay so this procedure usually will take you about 15 to 20 seconds or maximum 30 seconds okay so when we mix them what we had learned in the reaction that what will happen the zinc oxide and the eugenol they will react and they will form the what zinc eugenolate that is a salt and water is essential here for the reaction to happen doesn't mean that you have to add water externally unless you want to change the properties as we'll see in the clinical significance but water is required now coming to disinfection so when we take a wash impression using this zinc oxide eugenol impression paste and after it is set okay we wash off the saliva and we disinfect it by immersing in the glutaraldehyde okay or ida4 for a minimum of 10 minutes and maximum of 30 minutes see the material is speaking outside we haven't mixed it properly <laughs> coming to properties 